what's happening? Chilling here again today. Only for the first shop of the day, so the second shop of the day. We're here to fix the horn and the 12 volt um, charge point. You know, the cigarette lighter charge point. Um, I think we'll start with the horn first. So, the horn is in here. So, if I look in here and I see it, it's just, just here, look. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get to the hole, unplug it, and then check to see that, that I'm getting voltage when we press the one. If we have voltage there, then we know if the horn has a big problem. So let's see. This is my favorite little wiring kit, my little multimeter kit, this little box there. Hopefully you'll find it in the description if you want Just one wire as well, so because it's a one wire connector, it means that the horn is most bolted to the chassis, is making the earth turn. So I'm just gonna see 12 volts in there when I press the horn. And if I don't, it's a wiring problem. If there is 12 volts there, we need a new horn. So I put my meters here on an earth point. Change the bit, this end bit, to a long one. And then uh, press the horn. See if you see twelve volts. Nothing. Nothing. Could have had a really easy. Doesn't look like you're gonna get that lucky. Yeah, that's it. Alright, fine. So the horn is probably gonna be okay. This is this one.
active. I'm trying to find a horn relay. It's already popped that side, you see. Fixed it. Hmm. Some people cry about taking airbags off without disconnecting the battery. I'm still alive. Can't lie. Been doing this a long time. <laughs> Been doing this a long time. So what's happening here now, right? Is this is the horn, right? And when this touches there, we get the horn beeping. So what we're gonna do is just bend this forward a bit. And then you want to clean up the contacts where it's touching. So where was that touching? Like here, maybe? So now we've got to figure out what's wrong with this um, 12 volt socket. That's going to need enough point. I'm going to put this on this screw here. If it stays there. And you're coming right down in the middle to this point here. And that's where the power is picked up. No power there at all. Completely dead. So the first thing you want to do is check the fuse. Yeah, I'm gonna find the fuse within the passenger glove box. So from the diagram that I read earlier, I, this is meant to be like a um, cigarette look, 15 amp fuse, sig. Even though it's not a SIG, is it? It's like a 12 volt, 120 watt socket. But yeah, SIG, because it used to be SIG mm. on cars back in the day. There we go, here again. And 15 amp fuse is a blue. So just look for the blue one under here. Yay. This thing doesn't want to stay in. You should get some bigger crocodile clips. So that's the only thing about this, these are too small. Voltage, so it's working. And that's like a diagram. Where bus was it? Not bang in the middle, next to another 15, no, next to a seven and a half amp. So, this is why quickly because it's sometimes difficult to find a fuse, right? So, I look at the 15 amp. I know what 15 amp fuse is blue, and then I look and see what's the next side of it. That's a 20 amp, that's gonna be yellow, and then 7.5 is like a brownie gray color. I'm gonna go down here and see it. This side of the fuse, I got no volts. On the other side of the fuse, 12 volts. So I'm gonna pull this fuse out. And this is gonna be the reason why the cigarette lights here isn't working. Remember I said yellow. It's a yellow one, that's 20 amps. Purple one, I don't know what the purple one is. Three amps, not really good for much. And the blue is 15 amp, right? That's what a good fuse looks like. You can see the metal in the middle. It's all connected. I've been meaning to buy a few of these on Amazon for a while. I will buy these but i'm going to put a link to this in the description if you look carefully you can see that the fuse is blown can you see it yeah all right 
So this is like a low profile mini fuse. This is the old this is the older type, the long profile. I don't have any of these I run out. So I'm just gonna whack this one in there for now. And um, I'll let the customer know where his fuse box is and where to change it to the right one if he wants to. But this will this will work. Alright, let's put some this back on an half point right here. Yeah, we can put the meters down in the middle here. See? Put the 12 volts back, so that's working again. Happy days. 